Hi, I am Pooja and I have brought a question for you. What does come to your mind when you think about security testing and security testers? So you also thought that security testing is somebody's job who is like particularly focusedly working on only on security and sitting in some shady places. So I like to uh, tell one very important key point, just like in a product, um, early testing is so important. Oh, early testing as in functional testing, we had been only considering about functional testing and then we talk about performance and then comes the security testing as well. So the world has many hackers who want to destroy and very few ethical hackers who want to save. So now if we can become one of them who can save the world, uh, starting with our own applications, then that's a win-win for everybody. And with this episode, I'm going to share with you how to actually get started with security testing whether you wear hoodie or not or you wear a cool top like this let's get started let's take an example of your own home security what would you do to safeguard your house from a theft you would try to put a lock on your door or maybe on your windows or you will inspect entire your home and try to identify all entry areas remember this word entry area Exactly. So in this example, you see there are there is a door, there are windows, there are ceiling, uh, rooftop entrance, and there is a garage. So there are so many ways a thief, thief can enter. Exact same mindset we need to apply while doing security testing is imagining what are the possible entry points in my software, whether it's web application or my mobile application, which are the entry points from which a uh, thief can enter without my notice. So most importantly, very simple to understand is the input box. So I'm taking an example of a website where I can securely, uh, securely do the little bit of hack to understand how a hacker thinks. So this is one of the example wherein I search for a string and I see, I notice that um, why some content content is in bold and some is not. So this gives me an idea probably that this is, uh, this field is taking input of HTML also. So I'm trying uh, H1 tab, it got applied. It means this field is so unsafe that it is taking any, it is allowing any input. So let's try JavaScript as well and see what happens. So alert, um, hack, possible. Let's see if this works, then I should get an alert. Execute it. Yes, it does. So I believe this should have been escaped and not executed. It should have been printed on the board, but it did not happen. So this is the beginner baby step to understand how we can start with the security testing. Now you see the URL on top. Anybody can take this URL shorten it and send it to somebody and and steal their information in an advanced level let's see the advanced level now but before we go there i i want to emphasize on one important point that i know you would be excited to right away try this but i would encourage you to try some safe mode because obviously stealing is not right so you are you are learning stealing to do ethical hacking to prevent your own software, like how you understand how a, sister, how a hacker thinks and then, then suggest that for the developer, but nobody will understand that there are strict laws and which can hurt you. So <coughs> how to do it in safe mode? There are some applications which are given for that. So this is one of my favorite app applications, uh, DVWA. It gives different security levels to try and it gives different exercises to try. 
So let's try with the R exercise, which is like, okay, there is an input field. I want to try my curiosity. Does it, uh, does it, uh, is it hackable basically? So I found that yes, it just says that if it is not null, just just even execute it. So I could do that. Let's try to increase the security level and see what happens. So I'm trying the same alert. It doesn't work now. So what my developer did here is actually improve the security saying that any script tags should not be allowed. They should be just uh, removed by empty string. So let me try another way again, like a hacker. Uh, I saw that there is a script tag being removed, but I'm trying on my hunch that this should be working and yes, it works. Now I understand how it worked. So if I see the source again, what I understand is it removes one script tag. So from my string, which I tried, one script tag is being removed, which forms another script tag again. Exactly. So the hacker could not enter from the door, but it could enter from the window or from the ceiling. Correct. Now let's try to improve the security level uh, and try the same. It should not be working now because the developer has again safe, safeguarded it by saying that any occurrence of script tag with case insensitive, case sensitive, take care of it uh, and do not allow. So this should not be working. Now, here from here onwards comes the understanding and learnings from security lessons. Uh, if you go and check OASP security guide, what are the ways to do XSS, uh, XSS uh, um, attacks, you will find that there are ways you can insert the data for example, a string, a file, a image tag also. So let's let's try to insert an image which doesn't exist. And since it doesn't exist, I can trigger an on error call. So if I say on error, alert this, I'm hoping it should work because yes, it works. So it should work because I saw the source, JavaScript source, and I found that there is no uh, no stop point for that. So the answer lies in how to become or how to improve on uh, your security of your software is by using your curiosity and more than that, your willpower. So we just saw that how with adding simple steps in our regular testing, we are anyways testing the input fields with different data sets. Uh, we are applying testing techniques, boundary value analysis and stuff like that. If we just add a few more information from the world of HTML and JavaScript, we can actually make our, we can uh, contribute to safety of our product from the very beginning. And being in agile world, giving early feedback, even for security is going to make your product rockstar and so rockstar you. So go try, implement, and in NPS like, I'm not a security uh, expert at all. I'm also taking baby steps. And if I can, then you can too.